Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. I've been busy this morning. I uh, got out there and I mowed the lawn this morning. We had a before and after lawn mowing video. Just published that to the channel. So that's up there now if you guys want to check that out. Now it's uh, time to turn my attention to packing orders. We did have a few orders come into the big store. Let's take a look and see what sold. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm a full-time reseller. I've got two eBay stores, over 6,000 uh, items listed online. This vlog kind of details the ins and outs of that business. I show you guys what sold, show you what I'm listing, show you what I'm buying, all that good jazz. Um, Having said all that, let's take a look at what sold out of the big store. You see it, we had six orders for $90.67. 90 67 for six orders. Let's see what sold. First item sold for $14.11. It's a size 3XL Under Armour Athletic Shorts Blue Polyester Elastic Waist. These are the Heat Gear shorts so that was a pair of shorts i picked up out of a storage unit um got those out of a storage unit listed them on the 6th and here it is the 11th they sold so it didn't take long at all for those to get a sale next item sold for 15 dollars flat it's a brixton manufacturing company black adult trucker style baseball hat snapback cap listed this april 23rd uh let me give you guys a look at this one i got this in a hat lot didn't pay much for it and it sold for $15 shipped so uh, not too bad there it is nice looking hat so when I do some online arbitrage buying I buy these hat lots and I try to get hats between two to three dollars per hat um, it, sometimes I pay a little bit more depending on what they are but the, that's kinda what I'm looking to buy I'm buying huge amounts of hats you know 50 and up and uh, get them real cheap and then list them up individually and that was one of those hats that we got in a hat lot probably paid two to three dollars that one I think we paid three dollars for and uh, sold for 15 so uh, subtract shipping and uh, cost of goods and there's your profit next item sold for eighteen dollars and ninety three cents it's a watch it silver tone water resistant quartz watch needs a battery has a brown band so when I talk about online arbitrage I don't only only do hats I also did a watch lot um, got a bunch of watches uh, that needed batteries listed them individually just mentioned that they do need batteries and this was one of them that sold $18 and change so uh, not too bad next item sold for $12 flat it's a J Crew dress shirt size extra large long sleeve red white and green men's keyword pocket so just a basic dress shirt that was one of the um, items that I recently revised I've been revising my items and added uh, calculating shipping from free to calculated shipping on a lot of my listings I had revised that one lowered the price on it and uh, somebody sent an offer I was looking to move it so I went ahead and accepted the offer a little bit less than I would like to uh, um, accept for a shirt like that it's a nice looking shirt $12 isn't much but uh, we sold that one $12 out the door up next, this one sold for $20.80. It's a brand new Adidas Vancouver Canucks blue baseball hat. One size fits all strap back. Let me give you guys a look at this. I think I picked this up at Ross Dress for Less. Uh, either that or Burlington. Um, one of the outlet uh, shops. I got it on a pretty uh, decent price. Sometimes if you check their clearance, you can find these hats on sale. As you see, it has an MSRP. Um, of $30 on the tag there a strap back good looking adidas branded NHL a licensed uh, Vancouver Canucks hat so uh, good looking hat they took a while to pay for it but they did finally pay and that one sold for $20.80 you know subtract uh, four or five dollars for shipping and the cost of goods say I paid seven or eight dollars for that hat and there's your profit not a huge profit margin on that one uh, since you did pay up a little bit more uh, that's what happens when you shop at uh, Burlington or um, Ross Dress for Less or Marshalls those kind of outlet stores you gotta pay a li little bit more for inventory than the thrift shop um, but you can make some money as you see final item sold for nine dollars and eighty three cents it's a basic editions beige and blue striped t-shirt top short sleeve size extra large keyword mans so that was just a basic t-shirt obviously we're in the middle of spring now so uh, people are buying t-shirts again and polo shirts and uh, so you can get those things uh, pretty cheap I probably picked that up for a dollar at the thrift and uh, moved it for uh, was it nine dollars and eighty three cents so we're not making a lot but uh, we're getting a little bit of money um, 
and a little bit of profit on that one. So I'm going to go locate those items, uh, pull them from inventory, and then we'll print some shipping labels and add those to the tote, get them ready to go out to the post office. All right, through the magic of video, there they appear. Six orders ready for shipping labels. Got them all pulled here. We're going to print these labels and get them out to the post office. All right, there they are. Six orders ready for labels, and here come those labels. Let's get them printed and uh, get these on these packages ready for the post office. Gonna drop these off. All right, we got all those orders uh, packed up. We got labels on them. We got them ready to get into the tote and be ready to head off to the post office, find their new homes, meet their new owners. Let me uh, add these to the we tote. We got that one order from yesterday, and now we're gonna add six more. That's one, two, three, four, five, and number six. So sales have picked up a little from yesterday, still not much. Um, we're trying to get uh, new listings into the store so that sales will spike again. I uh, did photograph a brand new batch of inventory, stuff that I had um, in totes from uh, storage unit buyouts. Um, I did a couple uh, storage unit cleanouts earlier in this uh, year and uh, I've got several totes full of clothing so I just went through those pulled some of the nicer items that were good for spring and summertime and I photographed those I have them sitting here I also added another pair of uh, high top shoes I did get a couple listings up um, earlier today a pair of Air Jordans and a pair of um, Cruz uh, the player is Cruz a football player he, he had some kind of high-end shoes um, and got those listed. They were both a high-end pair of shoes listed on both for $99.97 so uh, they'll go with the authenticity guarantee and that'll go FedEx and um, they'll be guaranteed to be the real deal which they are so uh, let me give you guys a look at those listings. There they are on the right uh, Victor Cruz that's the name of the football player and uh, on the left a pair of Air Jordans so uh, let me give you a better closer look at so those. Here are the Victor Cruz these are the size 11 Nike Air Trainer Victor Cruz they called them wheat which is the color from 2015 keyword sneakers keyword I put uh, basketball shoes in there although he is a football player I believe so uh, there's a look at the main image there's the other one there's a look at the tops of them there's all the info size 11's they back they have that kind of velcro strap on the back there and uh, soles are pretty good condition so uh, there they are a pair of Victor Cruz size 11's from 2015 Here's the other uh, pair of high-end sneakers I listed. These are the Air Jordan 5 Retro Red Suede from 2017 Men's Basketball Shoes. Keyword sneakers, size 10 and a half. Um, there's the initial photo. Let me show you the rest here. Uh, there's the other one. These kind of, like they said, they uh, have that suede feel. Let's see. There's uh, These have a Jordan box. It's not the actual box they came in, but uh, I did uh, find a Jordan box to put them in. So these will ship in the Jordan box. And there's the soles. Nice and clean. There's the box. Um, took a couple extra pictures of these since they did have the box. The box was actually for a pair of Air Jordan 6 retros. And these are Air Jordan 5 retros. So um, not the exact box that uh, goes with these shoes. But uh, hopefully someone will want a Jordan box with their Jordans. So those are kind of a couple pair of high-end shoes I got out of a storage unit several years ago. I've been working through these um, Air Jordans. I've got several more to list, uh, but I've got uh, about half of them on at this point. And we've made quite a few sales of selling uh, high-end Jordans. Um, some of them have been going uh, FedEx uh, the, with that authenticity uh, guarantee. And anything over $100 qualifies for that. These are priced at, uh, I put them right under $100, but they do qualify, I guess and um, they um, are on sale right now 20% off so uh, now's the time to pick them up. So I must admit to everybody the day in the life of a reseller today has been a bit of a lazy one. Got a couple of listings up into the store, got some stuff photographed and ready to be listed but here it is 8 o'clock and I haven't really done too much business wise. Uh, we just packed those orders up, we got them ready to go so we are uh, keeping on top of things but uh, didn't put a lot of time into listing today. I did kind of sort out some of the stuff that I have my current inventory and uh, kind of have a little bit of a plan on what I plan to do in the upcoming week and that's kind of what you got to do a little bit sometimes uh, I took the time to do a video of a uh, before and after lawn mowing like I said put that up on the channel so we got some fresh YouTube content out there 
and I think I'm just gonna focus on uh, listing tomorrow but uh, I'm gonna end this video with a fun a little a cartoon voice over you guys uh, know I've been doing those on occasion and we're gonna treat you to another one so without further ado here it is <laughs> You know, they say that uh, you get uh, 18 hours of sleep as a cat. 18 hours a day is what they're telling me. But uh, I've been drinking this Joe, you know, having a little coffee in the morning. And I just can't seem to get my 18 hours anymore. It just, it just Joe, this cover, the Java, it just, uh, just keeps me up all day. I have no time to nap anymore. It's just a terrible thing. I'm addicted to this stuff, though, man. It's so tasty. I like to add a little milk to mine. I don't drink it black, but uh keeps me up all day. 18 hours, man. No way. Not me. No. I like to I like to scroll and sleep. Scroll and sleep. Scroll, sleep. Scroll, sleep. But when my friend Benji comes, that's when I get the best Z's. Him and I, we just sleep the whole night through. Yeah, I don't, I don't see why uh, people are so worried about uh, sleeping all the time. You know, success later, sleep first. You know, that's our motto. Uh, as cats, we gotta focus on what we do best, and uh, we sleep well. Everybody knows that. 18 hours a day or not, we're uh, success later, sleep first. That's what I'm about. I tell you, sleep first. Yeah, my mama put me in this little flower pot, and it's been my bed ever since. I get in. In the windowsill, and I get a lot of good sleep. I sleep there all day. Sometimes I sleep through the night. Right there in the window. Yo, yo, act like it's hard to get a nap around here. I mean, I, I can fall asleep on anything, man. Just, uh, I can fall asleep on a railing. I can fall asleep in a, in a bed. I can fall asleep on the windowsill. You put me anywhere, I can get some Z's, man. That's what we do. Like I, like she said, you know, we're good at sleeping. I can do it all day. Every day, all day. No problem. Uh, my little tail, it, it'll just float away and, and blow in the wind and uh, I sleep right through it. No problem at all. Right here on this rail. I mean, no problem at all. I'll tell you, sleeping's what we do. Yeah, but sometimes you need a little yin to your yang, if you know what I mean. Uh, I haven't been able to sleep ever since they put this hat on me. I mean, it's really uh, too tight around my head. Uh, yeah, I can't get any Z's. Uh, it's just too tight. My brain, it hurts my brain. You know, what you all need to try is uh, stick your belly right at the sun. You just shoot it right at the sun and then you'll go straight out. It'll put you right to sleep. No problem. Works for me every time. Paws up, paws up, and belly to the sky. It'll put you right to sleep. No problem at all, like I said. With me, with me, I like to uh, sleep with my fish, you know. Uh, I got that animal instinct in me, and I uh, just got that killer instinct, and if I don't have a, a, a fish close by, uh, I'll just wake up and want to go fishing, you know. I need to go catch something, and I, if I have it there, I can just, uh, my mind will be at ease, you know, and uh, I don't have to worry about things. Just have me and my little fish, uh, we get some good Z's together. Uh, sometimes my eyes get real droopy. They droop and then I get a big old smile on my face. And I just uh, let those eyes drop all the way down to my little pink nose. And, uh, eventually I'll get some sleep. But, uh, I like the droopy stage. That's my favorite part of the day. You guys got it all wrong. You know, there's these other animals in the house. You just find one of them and you post up right on top of them. They're quite fluffy and, uh, they're excellent, uh, sleeping buddies. Uh, you just, uh, gotta find the right spot. You twirl around a few times. Eventually, you'll settle in and find a nice little cove you can just fall into. No, no, no. I do it on the book. I do it on the book. The book and the, the knowledge will go straight through me, right to my little brain, right to my little cat brain. You sleep on the book and you get smarter every minute. It's a fact. Fact indeed. I don't know about all that. I'm 
plenty smart. Uh, I've been s drinking this coffee, and I don't even have to sleep on any books. I don't read any books. I don't do none of that, and I'm plenty smart. I got one eyeball much bigger than the other it's because my brain is so big. That eyeball just goes seeking the knowledge. It's in there, you know? Yeah, I sleep pretty good, but uh, I don't like Mondays. I hate them, actually. Uh... The weekends are so tough, and you just wake up Monday, and, oh, I don't like them. I just hate Mondays. They're so terrible. No, I don't know. I kind of like Monday. You get a nice and stretch in, you, you wake up and ready to start the week, you know. You, everybody needs to start the week on a Monday, and you finish on a Friday, and then you got the whole weekend to just party your little tails off. Yep, Mondays ain't all bad. I think they're pretty fun, actually. Get some good naps in, some good stretching, and uh, all that, you know. Mondays ain't half bad. Forget the books. The cardboard, that's the way to sleep. It feels really good on your fur, trust me. It's nice and smooth, and uh, they can just box you up and put you in the corner. You have your own little spot, away from everything. You'll stay nice and cozy in a box like this. I can get you one. I can get you one for sure. Dude, the box is the ghetto life. You know, my humans bought me this little chair. It's just for me. They bought it just for me. I'm not sleeping in no box. You're crazy, man. I like, to, I like to stay close to the bowl, you know. Stay close to the bowl. You never know when the food's gonna come, so you gotta be close to the bowl. You hear that food, you hear that little rustle of the package, and uh, you gotta be close because uh, you don't want to miss out. Uh, you know, you got that uh, other cat in the house, he always eats all your food. Oh man, I gotta be close to the bowl, I gotta be ready for that food when it comes. Yep, I'm ready. I'm sleeping right by the bowl. They're not gonna miss out on any of that food, it's all mine. It's gonna be all mine, I tell you. You guys worry too much about all that sleeping and stuff, man. It's in our DNA, man. It shouldn't be so hard. You just put one paw over the other, you wrap your little tail in, and you snuggle in for a good night's sleep. No problem at all. 18 hours, 20 hours, we could sleep all day, all night. That's what we do. Have a good night's sleep. Sweet dreams.